guys welcome to my channel today uh, this is Nikki Wonder of course and today I am talking about something kind of personal for me but I wanted to share with you guys because there may be others out there that have the same problem and that is something called oral allergy syndrome it is something that I live with and to give you a little bit of a background story on it um, you know growing up uh, particularly in my um, late teens, early twenties, I had really bad hay fever. I was very allergic. Um, you know, I remember one instance where I, I drove past someone cutting grass and within five minutes, you know, my face had blown up hot, swollen, nose running, just the whole nine. And I realized how really allergic I am to grass and pollen. And so, you know, I lived with that for a while, while, you know, I would just carry Benadryl with me or things like that, like everyone else. But as I got older, I started noticing I was having a reaction to fresh fruit and vegetable. And I thought it was something odd. I thought I was developing allergies and, you know, went and saw an allergist and everything and come to find out there's actually a um, actual diagnosis called oral allergy syndrome, where a person who has pollen allergy can actually have problems, um, eating fresh fruit, fresh vegetable, basically anything that grows out of the ground or off a tree. Um, if you were to understand the fact that the pollen in the air and in the ground merges with these fruits as they are growing or these vegetables as they're growing and it creates some type of protein and this is what i've been you know told by my doctor that the the protein it, that is being created by the pollen and the acid from the fruit or the vegetable is what i'm allergic to and so if you think about you know can't you eat this can't you eat apples you know if i bite into an apple if i peel an orange and i go to eat it you know, at first it tastes great, it's sweet, or, you know, broccoli with cauliflower, you know, with ranch dip, I love that as a snack. But as soon as I go to eat it, within a few minutes, I start to feel nauseous, my throat is itchy, the back of my mouth is itchy, or my lips would swell. And then when I finally really hit a benchmark with this, um, it was an instance where I was in a restaurant and a salad bar, um, they offered a salad bar and I made this huge salad and I took a couple of bites and literally guys, when I tell you my face swole and got numb, uh, my lips blew up. Half of my face was numb. I couldn't feel it. It was scaring me. My throat was starting to close. And so I really started to say, look, I have to find a way to eat, um, with this allergy and try to eat healthy. And so I came up with a few, um, what I call snack hacks. For those of us with this type of condition who are so allergic to fresh fruit and vegetable, but when you're going to diet, when you're trying to eat healthy, the first thing they say is eat fresh fruit and vegetable. Well, what if you can't do that? I surely can't. So how do I get away with snacking healthy? Well, one thing I've discovered, and this is my um, snack hack number one, Honey and yogurt are like these magical substances for your body. And honey in particular, you know, it's a natural enzy enzyme. It helps to, uh, you know, it does so many things for you. Honey is just something that is just so great for you. And when I put that on my fruit or, you know, coat my fruit or yogurt, you know, I can use yogurt as also a substance to coat my stomach I can actually eat these uh, berries. I'll put blueberries, raspberries, strawberries in the yogurt or in the honey and eat them together. And somehow that combination tricks my stomach into not detecting the protein before it, you know, basically di digestion takes over and it's gone. Um, so I'm able to actually eat fresh fruit as long as one of those two substances is in the mix. And so that is one thing that you can try if you really, you know, want to have that orange, you really want to have that, uh, parfait, make sure that the yogurt or the honey is present and that you coat or that you eat every bite with those two, um, in the spoon. The next thing that I try to do is frozen vegetables. Um, you know, you don't always have access to frozen vegetables or maybe fresh vegetables freeze your fresh vegetables. If you buy them fresh, put them in the freezer, something about the freezing of the 
vegetable or the fruit actually kills the protein. So I've noticed that when I want to have a smoothie, I can't put fresh strawberry in, but if I put frozen strawberry in, no reaction, no problems, you know, no issues. And so use frozen vegetables or freeze the fresh ones that you buy. Um, the next thing that I'll tell you that works for me sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes is putting vinegar on your salads or opting for soup. So, you know, we love those restaurants that have the unlimited salad and breadsticks, but can't always eat the salad. So sometimes if I drench it in balsamic vinaigrette or, you know, vinegar or some, some type of vinegar dressing, the vinegar does something to, um, kill the protein or neutralize it so that you don't immediately have a reaction or you don't, your body doesn't detect the protein until it's too late. And then by then your digestive system has taken over and you don't have the reaction. Um, and going in conjunction with that, this is my last little hack here for this condition. When you're going to know that you really want to eat that fresh fruit, fresh vegetable, cutting it into small pieces and actually leaving it out to age a little bit actually helps. I know that doesn't sound uh, right or sounds weird, but I noticed that if I cut up the apple slices and leave them out, let them start to brown just a little bit, maybe just an hour or two, and I eat them after that, actually, I don't have that bad of reaction. You know, I might get a little itchy throat, my little, little itchy lips or whatever, but I don't feel that nauseous, want to throw it up sensation. And so those guys, for me, uh, a sufferer from oral allergy syndrome, those are the ways, some of the ways that I get through my diet and my daily life when I'm trying to eat healthy and have to combat that type of condition. So if you have this, please comment below. If you know someone who has it, please leave your stories below. I would love to hear it. I appreciate all of your support, you guys. Um, thank you for coming back to my channel today. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.